Welcome to Zoom Settings for Teachers. This Zoom tutorial shows teachers exactly how to set up their Zoom meeting settings, thus making their Zoom experience with students more manageable and successful. Start by logging into your Zoom meeting account and selecting Settings. Choose Meeting and choose Schedule Meeting. I suggest that teachers hosting meetings start their meetings with their host video off. Once the teacher is ready for the students to see them, then they can turn their video on. At the start of the meetings, the participants' videos should also be off. The teacher or the students can turn on the students' videos if or when they're ever ready for other people to see them during the Zoom meeting. For audio type, select Telephone and Computer Audio. I don't think the students should join the meeting before the host, so turn that off. Turn on requiring a password when scheduling new meetings. Also turn on require a password for instant meetings. Turn on require a password for personal meeting and select all meetings using PMI. To allow for a real easy one-click join, select on for embedded password and meeting link. Select on to require a password for participants joining by phone. Mute participants upon entry, turn that on, and the teacher hosting the Zoom meeting can control whether the students can unmute themselves at any point during the meeting. This takes us to the Zoom meetings in meeting basic settings. Turn on the chat setting. This allows the students to send messages that are visible to the teacher and all other students. Turn off private chat. Don't allow students to send one-to-one -one messages to another student. Select auto saving chats. This way all the chats are saved automatically and the teacher can go back and review the chats from that Zoom meeting session. Play sound when students join or leave the Zoom meeting. This is up to you. Personally, I don't use it, but a lot of teachers do. Screen sharing. Select on. Select host only for who can share. And select host only for who can start sharing when someone else is sharing. If you're new to Zoom, I suggest turning the annotation feature off. I also recommend turning the whiteboard feature off, especially if you're new to Zoom. Turn off the remote control feature. Turn on the nonverbal feedback feature. This allows participants to raise their hand virtually or give you a virtual thumbs up and even request that you slow down or speed up. I don't suggest to allow removed participants to rejoin, so turn that setting off. I like to know the name of the students in my Zoom meeting, and I don't want to have to try to figure out which nickname belongs to which student, so I turn this setting off. I don't allow participants to rename themselves. Show participants profile picture. I turn that setting on. When they turn off their video, then we'll see their profile picture or their name. This takes us to in meeting, advanced. Give hosts option to report participants to Zoom. This option allows teachers to report students for inappropriate behavior to Zoom's trust and safety team for review. I'll probably never have to use it, but it's nice to have that option. So I turn this feature on. Far end camera control. Turn this off. Identify guest participants in the meeting. I turn this on. Waiting room. This feature puts the students directly in the waiting room when they join your Zoom meeting. They'll stay in the waiting room until you let them into the Zoom meeting. You can let them into the meeting one at a time or as a group. I suggest you turn the waiting room on. This takes us to email notification. When a meeting is canceled, notify host and participants when the meeting is canceled. I turn this on. In this video, I covered the settings that I believe could best help teachers manage Zoom meetings with their students. 
All the settings that I did not cover, I have in the off position as my default for now. Ultimately, you will discover what settings work best for your needs and you can always change them along the way. Once you choose the right Zoom settings, you'll be all set for smooth and successful Zoom meetings with your students. Good luck. Thanks for watching and please share this Zoom meeting settings tutorial with teachers and educators.